What happens in the pavement breakup that we had here was basically thermal expansion. The, the concrete gets hot, it expands, it really doesn't have anywhere to, to push it to, to relieve that, and so the concrete will buckle. I would expect that the moisture probably has something to do with it because we haven't seen this, this amount in this segment in the previous few years. Uh, I don't know if it's a certain amount of rainfall that, that is con you know, that, that's conducive to these buckles. Um, they're unpredictable for us. If we knew where they would be, then we would cut joints in those locations. Uh, but since you know, they're, they're kind of an anomaly, you know, we just have to kind of respond to them. Both asphalt and concrete have their uh, limitations as well as their, their attributes that we, we look for when we're designing highways. Uh, asphalt, um, you, you know, there's, there's been occasions where you can drive certain segments of roadways where you do have thermal cracking. Uh, the thermal cracking that you'll experience um, is that kind of that, that repeated thumping that you might, that, that, that some of your viewers might uh, remember. Uh, concrete, typically, it does have a, a traditionally longer service life and a little smoother but on the flip side of it, occasionally it does have uh, pavement buckles. Um, I think what we do need to do though is, just as motorists in general, we need to be aware of the, the roadway surroundings. In the event that somebody does de you know, detect something that they thought wasn't there the day before, they could certainly give our office a phone call and let us know that, that they're starting to see some changes in the roadway. The phone number to reach us is 436-6587.